today's video is a review of my Kentucky Blue Sapphire pear-shaped halo style engagement ring and this was actually a push present from my husband celebrating the birth of our second child who was actually born 10 days ago exactly and so he picked this ring out actually this past June for me when I was in my second trimester of pregnancy and he had me come to Shane Co and showed me this style of ring that he selected um, with a setting and with a stone and asked me if I cared for any other stones or settings but I actually like the exact one that he picked out now for the details on the Kentucky Blue Sapphire. The center stone has a total 1.64 total carat weight and a retail price of $2,400 for the stone itself. Now for details on the engagement ring setting. It's made of a 14 carat white gold with 47 round diamonds, has a 0.97 total carat weight, and a retail price of $2,050. The total price of the ring is $4,450. Here is a view of the side profile of the ring. You can see all those little details. And I really love that the main stone is elevated as such. It lets a lot of light in. For this setting, we don't have diamonds that go all the way around. So therefore, it gives you a very smooth finish in the back. And the entirety of the underside of the ring, which will be touching your ring finger, is all smooth. So it won't be scratchy at all to wear. What I also love about Shane Co. is that quite a few of their pieces are highly customizable. If you go on their site or even in store, you can create your own ring. And on their website, you can choose between loose diamonds or loose sapphires or other semi-precious stones. And you can pick your band setting as well. And they have a whole listing of various carat weights for the stones so you can pick something that's suitable for your budget. So on Shane Co.'s website, you can build your own engagement ring by choosing the setting of the stone. Here you can shop by various stone shapes. And you can also sort it by loose diamonds or loose sapphires and rubies. And so here is a listing of all their sapphires and rubies. And in fact, everything is a sapphire except for the single ruby. You can also sort by various shapes. I'm going to select Kentucky Blue Sapphire in the pear shape. And this is what it comes up with. We can sort it by carat weight with the largest at the top. Something comparable to my stone is this one for $2,400. And now to select the setting, here I have it sorted by halo settings and you can just choose the one that suits you most. So here I was able to build the exact ring on their site and this is what the ring looks like and this is what the setting looks like so you can get a visualization of what your ring will look like. So this is where all the paperwork came in, it has the sales receipt, the claim check, as well as the warranty paper. So here is the certified appraisal paper right here. And here we have all the information for the stone as well as the engagement ring setting. I recommend that you bring your piece of jewelry in every six months to get it cleaned and inspected and that will maintain the warranty however if it does go longer than six months without it being cleaned or inspected they will reactivate the warranty for free so you don't really have to worry about that in the meantime if you don't have time to get your ring cleaned by them every six months i do recommend using a jewelry cleaner this is the one that i like this is from the brand connoisseurs this is for gold platinum diamonds and precious stones and in this case, the ring is 14 karat gold, so it fits perfectly in this category. This jewelry cleaner is available at Amazon for around $8, and you can also find it at other stores such as TJ Maxx or Target, um, but I do highly recommend this one. It's lasted quite a while. I've had it for about a year, and so it just has a screw top lid here. And the great thing is you can just slide your ring onto this centerpiece, and there's this little mesh thing in there to catch your ring, and they also have a detachable brush that you can use to buff out any small scratches or dirt. It does seem that over time the solution will evaporate a bit, so even though I don't empty out the solution from this container, it will deplete over time. They recommend that you leave your jewelry in here for 30 seconds, and they don't recommend that you use this solution on pearls. So this is the box that the ring came in. It's quite your standard mahogany colored box. And inside we have the silver jewelry box. So here is baby Vincent. As I briefly mentioned before, he's exactly 10 days old today. And this is during his nap time as well as my daughter's nap time. So this is the rare moment in the day when both kids are sleeping that I can have time to do other things. So anyways, that should do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.